I love sharing stuff like this with you. To this is this is such an important thing. What, what you do, Ellie, is so cool. I'm here with Portia and Ellie Lax, who founded the Gentle Barn. It's an amazing sanctuary where abused and neglected animals get a second chance at life. Uh, and Portia spent the day there. I can't wait to go myself. Uh, take a look. Hey, Ellen. I'm here with Ellie at the Hi. Gentle Barn, and I can't wait to meet that animal that just bleated. <laughs> is that a sheep? Yes. <laughs> Let's, uh, show me around. Okay. I think if you had to sum up our place in one sentence, it would be, we provide a place for people and animals to be reminded that they matter. She's holding my hand. <laughs> That's so Isn't cute. <laughs> Let's go meet some more animals. Okay. <laughs> this is Josh, our sheep. Hi, Josh. And he, whenever we get a lamb in that's really wounded, Josh babysits them until they feel better. Oh, hi. This is Rama. Oh, wow. She's three years old. We rescued her from Thanksgiving. And so now on Thanksgiving, we come and feed her pie. That's our tradition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness, all right. <laughs> That's fine, I'll go. Say no more. Wow, so here we are with the horses. We have 16. 16 horses. Yep. So the other horse rescues do the wonderful work of taking in horses that are rideable and placeable. Right. We take in the ones that are so destroyed that no one else wants them. Is he a racehorse, X? Yes, that's an X racehorse. That's Mama Deer. She was raced until she couldn't walk anymore. That's usually when they put them down, but for yeah. some miracle they knew of us and brought her here. And uh, we rehabilitated her with our deep tissue massage therapy, and now she's totally sound, totally happy. <sighs> And you're never tempted to place these animals so you can rescue more animals. Do you ever place them with people? When they heal fast, yes, we absolutely place right. them. I was thinking this is an animal you could take home to Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ellen. <laughs> Hi, honey. Look what I got. <laughs> just for you. OK, I think I'll just take a nap right around here. Hey, so kind of pop it in her mouth. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Just like that. Kind of messy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. This one over here is very shy. Josh, you're not on a timeout. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's very sweet. Do you kind of teach them that mainly right away? <laughs> okay, boys, you're all right. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you so much for showing me this amazing place. It's really transformative. You're doing an incredible job, and I just hope that everyone gets to experience what I've experienced today. Oh, I highly recommend hugging a cow. Portia came home and, and uh, was just raving. And uh, just tell everybody what, kind of what you told me, what, what really hit you most about this place. Well, I haven't stopped talking about it since I, I visited Ellie. I mean, it's the most incredible place. All of these animals have come from all forms of abuse, and yet they're so trusting of people. And I think that's the thing that overwhelmed me the most, was how incredibly loving they are toward people who have really abused them. And not just with Ellie, but everybody that goes to visit there. And it's just an amazing experience to hug a cow and just throw your arm around a goat. It's, yeah. it's But it, it's it really did look like old McDonald's farm. Like, when at first shot, of all the animals together, almost looked like you put them in there, you know, in post. Like, they didn't really yeah. all get along. And, and they, they all get along, right, Ellie? Yeah. Yeah. And, and what's great about that, you can go to the website because we really want you to, to learn more about it. But one of the cool things is it's open to the public on Sundays and tell people about that and what, who, who comes in and what you do with the public. Yeah, so we're open to the public on Sundays from 10 to 2, and people can come and hug the cows and brush the horses and give the pigs tummy rubs and hear their stories. And then during the week, we do private groups. So we work with special needs kids, kids on probation in foster care from the inner city. And they come in, and through the interaction with the animals, they learn kindness, compassion, self-esteem. They really find themselves among the animals. Right. They can kind of relate to, to somebody maybe not treating them so well, and then yet they still have that kind of trust. Yeah, because the animals have the same stories as the kids have. 
Right. And so through their stories, they can connect to the animals and uh, be inspired by the animals because the animals have healed and so too yeah. can they. Amazing job that you're doing and the story is a, a great story how you got started and your fiance is working with you, Jay, and hi, Jay. Um, it just, it's, it's really a cool thing. So um, we want to help you out because they need money and they're helping so many animals that need to be taken out of horrible situations. So uh, we have friends at tonic.com who have been so extraordinarily generous with us for any occasion when they know somebody needs money. I know you're trying to raise $100,000 to rescue some dairy cows. They're giving you $50,000 right now. Oh my God. that? We can help everything you donate helps. Please log on to our website to learn how you can help the Gentle Barn reach their goal of raising $100,000. And go to our website, and then you have to log on to the Gentle Barn, because when you see the stories and when you see everything that they are doing for these amazing animals, uh, and you go visit if you can. And it's go an visit. amazing experience. And bring your kids yes. to, to learn more about that.